this is my fourth video of the day with the third taco that's just been released and it's under WNBA on Diana Taurasi on points props easy over she's been averaging 18.3 18.2 past five games she's only missed this mark once but we take the discount she should easily get this prop she's one of the best players in the WNBA she is older but she's still one of the best since the last talk was on the WNBA, I do have five others on WNBA that usually I like to take MOB since this is what this channel is all about. But I actually have five props on the WNBA that I really like. It's a couple of them come out from the WNBA first half under fantasy score. And it's going to be under Ezzy. Ezzy McBeggar at 17.5. This line has actually been bumped from 16.5 a few hours ago. It's been bumped for 17.5. Hmm. I do. I still. I still like it at 17.5. I mean, you can either take the first half fantasy score or her full game fantasy score. I, I leave him my other. In my earlier videos, I did talk about her fantasy score for the whole game, but I do like her first half. I still think she'll go over. It's going to be a little bit close even since they bumped this line to 17.5 from 16.5 earlier in the morning. I'm still going to take it at over. Luckily, I was able to place it before at 16.5. I still like that going over. And then I have uh, Cloud. Tasha Cloud, I believe. Oh my goodness, they took off her prop. They did kick off her prop. Yes, they did. Okay, scratch that. Let's be with Atkins. Oh my goodness, they took her prop off also. Then later you make the videos. That's why I like to get these videos out. Even my editing is not that great, but I like to just get it out. Be fully transparent and raw. But that's why the, that's why I like to put out the video as early as possible since a lot of these props are already taken off. So we can find something. Her PRA. Let's see if she's still here. Oh, she took that. Alright, well you can still take that first fantasy score. I like that one. I did have Atkins on less on fantasy and Cloud more on points and PRA, but we're gonna have to go for the full game now. Yep, they completely took off her prop. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, both props that I liked, both players that I liked earlier in the day, they took them off. You can see a lot of the money's going towards those two. We can still get Ezzy McGregor. McGet McBeggar. I believe that's how you pronounce it. You can still get her first half fantasy score, even though it's been bumped. You can still take that and Ezzy at 34.5. See, they, they bumped this again because I was able to get this line at 33.0 early in the morning. Then they bumped it to 34, and now it's at 34.5. So let's see. Lloyd. Lloyd Point at 26.5. She is one of the best players in the WNBA. She did have a stinker last previous game, but I think she'll go over. She's averaging 26.8. It will be close, but I think she'll go over. Then I have Boston under fantasy. Let's see, she's still here. Damn. They took her off as well. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not real too sure on the rest of these props since most of them have been bumped already. And the ones that I've liked that I like, they already took them off, so I'm not gonna force the issue. I'll go back to the MOB, my bread and butter. And they bumped a couple of them on strikeouts, which I like to take the less now. Luis Severino for more. It was at five, it went down. So I think 4.5, I think he can get five against the Mets. I was looking at push equity at five, but since they bumped it down 4.5, I think he can get the five. So I think this is a good profitable one that we can get. And then we're looking at one more. This one been bumped as well. This is a gamble. They, they added at seven, they bumped it up seven. So they think they're gonna get eight strikeouts or more on Kerber and Burns. I mean, he's been on a hot streak, but 
against Minnesota. I'll fade the prop. And if you do take this shot, I suggest you take the under on it. I mentioned this one in my earlier videos. Alex Cobb and Jack Flaherty is my one of my favorite ones for the day. Take that one over. Luis Ortiz has been bumped. I believe I took it at 4.5 if I took the under. We're looking at push equity here. Edward Cabrera, I see this going under. I believe this was at six, it actually got bumped. But I had six under, so now, now you get at 6.5. He needs seven strikeouts to beat, to beat you. And I don't think he's gonna get seven against the Mariners. They walk a lot, I think. I think this is a good one to go under. I think he might get five or four, but he does have trouble walking a lot of guys. George Kirby, as I mentioned before in the earlier videos, he might push on this. And same thing with Joe Musgrove. I think he'll push as well against the Cleveland Guardians and make a lot of contact and take a lot of walks. Rest of the faves. Zach Davies was at 3.5 earlier. Now they have him at 4. Just push equity here. Hunter Brown still good. Still stuck at 5.5. We'll take that one. Jordan Lyles doesn't strike out as many, but he does pitch a lot. Pitch seven innings or plus past couple of starts. Team, I want to look into this one. Uh, but these are my fav five favorite. Right? I have one more. I think it's on Hits Aloud, I believe. It's on Pablo Lopez. Let me look at that up real quick. Let's see if it's still there. If it hasn't been bumped, you can take that. Hits Aloud. All right, 4.5. This is a good one to take. 4.5. Over Milwaukee. I think they'll get six hits off of him. He's still gonna pitch six, seven days, but I think they will get a couple hits off of him. Oh, there you go then. We got Paulo Lopez over 4.5 hits. Edwin Cabrera under pitcher strikeouts. Luis Severino over. Duel Lloyd over in points. And Ezzy McBeggar over for first half fantasy score, or you can take her full game fantasy score. Well, thank you for sticking around and watch my third video or my fourth one for the day. But I had to include all three tacos since you got to take advantage of these discounts on price picks. So please like, subscribe, and comment on anything. Uh, I am waiting for my microphone. Hopefully uh, you guys can hear me better because I know I've been getting some comments regarding the music in the background. I just have it for entertainment purposes. But yes, I am, I am getting a microphone hopefully uh, soon. So thank you again. You guys have a good day.